Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for uh, my favourite stretch, current morning stretch, which we're going to get into today. I'm not going to waffle too much at the beginning. We're going to start straight away in a wide, wide, wide legged child pose. So big toes together, sit back on your heels, open those knees and just stretch forward into your wide child. So just relaxing down here. That's it. Just gently stretching out those inner thighs. Easing into it. We've had a few breaths in wide child. We're going to come to our tabletop now. So we're going to do some hip circles. So get yourself with your hips over your knees and your shoulders over your wrists. And we're going to take that right knee back and we're going to make a circle with it. So we're going to do eight of these. Really getting that hip loosened up and then bring that knee forward into our low lunge. So walk that foot forward, ankle and knee aligned, chest forward, feel a stretch down your left hip flexor. And then we're gonna come up and lift up. And we're gonna come into our triangle pose. So we're gonna straighten that front leg and have a big stretch here. So really stretch those arms. And we're going to shift the body over that right leg and let that hand slide down, the left hand up. So remember not to hold your breath, keep breathing. Lovely stretch here, great for the morning. Or well, great for any time. Inhale up, stretch those arms. So back to your triangle and then into your warrior. So bring that knee over the ankle, you can take that back foot back a little more whatever's comfortable for you. And we'll get into our reverse warrior. So a big breath in here. And then the back hand slides down, front hand up. That's it. Big side body stretch. And then inhale back. So back to your warrior two, and then into our side angle. So front forearm on top of your thigh, and your left arm alongside your ear. That's it, lovely big stretch. Keep breathing, and then inhale back. So back to your warrior two, and then bring those hands down, and step back into your first downward dog. So we do our dog walk first, lifting those heels one at a time, and then press down into the dog. The dog, our dog, your dog. Lift those hips up and back, pull your tummy in, lengthen through the arms. That's it, a couple of breaths here. And then we'll take a flow, or we'll come into a vinyasa, so into your plank. And then lower the body to the ground. Inhale up to your cobra. Shoulders down away from your ears. And then back to your tabletop. So we're going to do the other side. So we're going to do the hip circles on the left leg. So try not to let the opposite arm to bend too much. Keep that arm as straight as you can. Take that left leg back. So we're going to do eight circles with the left leg. So it's great for loosening up that hip. Wonderful. And then step it forward. So again, into your low lunge, so bring that chest forward, feel that stretch there down the front of that right thigh, lifting, pressing forward, untuck that right toe, lift up, triangle pose. So coming up, straighten that front leg, there we go. So we're going to get into our triangle, so shift the body weight over the left leg and let that left hand Slide down the leg, right hand up, chest open. That's it, keep breathing and keep smiling. 
it's a wonderful day and you're doing the best thing you can for yourself. Inhale up. Stretch those arms into warrior two. Bring that knee over the ankle. Step those back feet, back feet, that back foot even a little bit more. Stretch those arms back into your warrior two. Okay, big breath in. Exhale to your reverse warrior. Back hand down, left hand up. That's it, reach up nice and tall. Wonderful. Inhale back. Into your warrior two. And then into your side angle. Front forearm on top of your thigh, right arm alongside your ear. Remember to roll that shoulder back. Keep your chest open, that's it. Lovely. Inhale back. Warrior two. And then we're going to get back into our downward dog. So bring both hands to the front and step that left foot back. Have your little dog walk in between. And then into your dog, heels down, hips up, chest to your thighs, pull your tummy in. Really lengthen through the arms. As you lift your hips up and back, you can feel that stretch in your arms and your shoulders. Into your plank pose for your flow, your vinyasa. So shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, lower to the ground. Inhale up to your cobra. And this time we're going to go back into child's pose. So take those buttocks back onto your heels, your forehead to the mat and your hands by your feet. So we're going to have a few breaths here. Have a little rest, a little transition. Okay, so use your hands to lift yourself up and we're going to come round to face the front. We're going to come and do, we're going to do some side leg lifts. So laying on your side on your elbow and stacking one leg on top of the other and keep both hands down. We're going to lift that left leg up as high as is good for you. If that's only there, you can flex the foot that increases that stretch side there that's it keep your hand there keep your balance or she'll roll over <laughs> we're just going to do eight of these okay that side done i'm going to roll over so you're going to look at my <laughs> the rear of me <laughs> so again same, so get yourself nice and firm, come down onto that elbow and then lifting up, extend through that leg. Last one. Lovely, okay, roll over, come onto your back. Lie down, get yourself in position on your mat. And let's start with a nice little back massage. Hug those knees, just rocking from side to side. That's it. And then we're gonna come into our bridge. So bring those feet down, knees bent, palms down. Take a nice big breath in here. And then as you exhale, squeeze those glutes, lift up, draw your tummy in. And just hold this pose for a couple of breaths. Don't, don't hold your breath and really, really squeeze those glutes. Great for toning up your butt. Really good. That's it, and then lower down, nice and slow. And again, hug those knees just to relax those muscles. Hug it in. 
Okay, feet to the floor. We're going to do reclined pigeon, another favourite of mine. Inhale, your right foot up, point the toe. Place it on your left knee. Lift your left leg up. Feel that stretch right there. And if you want to increase it, you can just do this if you wish. Or if you want to increase it, you can hug your thigh or your shin. And then I like to move that right foot. So you can either flex and point, or you can make circles with that foot back and forth. Just keep it moving. And that's it. And release. Both feet to the floor, and we'll do the other side. Inhale, left foot up, so point the toe. Place it on your right knee. Lift your right leg. And again, hug your thigh or your shin. And then move that left foot this time. As I say, you can flex and point. You can make circles. Whatever feels good to you. That's what it's all about, is making yourself feel good. Getting yourself off to a great start to your day. A smile on your face and a flexible body. <laughs> and release. Okay, let's uh, add in, I wasn't going to do this, but let's add in a few little windscreen wipers because they are really nice. Just extend your arms out to the sides and just let those knees drop back and forth. Again, you can make these as deep or as shallow as you like. Just get those hips rolling from side to side. That's it. Lovely, just a few of those. I'm going to finish on that side on the left as we started on the right. We're going to hug the knees in because the, the very last pose I want to do, which again is another favourite, is reclined twist. So hug those knees in. Extend your arms out to the side and let your knees roll to the right. But keep that left shoulder and arm in contact with the mat. Now your collarbone is facing up. If it's comfortable, you can turn your head to the left. If not, just carry on looking straight up. Remember, listen to your body always. Okay, engage your core, inhale your knees back to the centre and then exhale them down to the left, keeping that right arm and shoulder in contact with the mat. And again, you can turn your head to the right if it's comfortable. Close your eyes, enjoy. Gently inhale those knees back to the centre, hug them in, give that back one more little massage. And then release your feet to the floor, keep your knees bent and just roll onto your right side with those knees bent. <clears throat> so we're going to come up nice and slow. So just stay here for a second and then bring yourself up into easy pose or just a comfortable seated position, whatever is most comfortable for you. We're going to sit up nice and tall. And we're just going to finish with some nice cleansing breaths. So inhale your hands up. Exhale down, still in and out through the nose. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale down. And this time we're going to exhale through the mouth as we bring the hands down to our heart centre. Inhale up, palms together, exhale through the mouth, and bowing forward, namaste. And there we are, there's our practice, it's been about 14-15 minutes, great one to do to start your day, my current favourite. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below. Have a wonderful day. Stay well. Keep smiling. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.